Great, thanks so much, Tricia. Um, as Tricia mentioned, um, we have an etherpad um, for today's call. I'm going to post it again into the chat so you, um, you all have it there. Um, but just to give you a little bit of information about how today's session will be ran, um, we're going to have some introductions from members of the core team who are on the call. Um, they're going to provide us with their name, um, role within the organization, and um, where they currently are in the world. Um, we're then going to have a brief presentation um, by uh, Carrie Jordan, our executive director, on kind of the state of the organization and where things currently are. Um, we'll then take some time to see if there are any questions um, from any of you who are attending. Um, and depending on um, questions that are coming up, we want this time to be for all of you um, to get your questions answered. Um, we do have um, some um, questions that we've added into the etherpad that we can use for some silent reflection to get the discussion started as well. Um, so with that, I am going to get us started with a round of introductions. Um, so uh, my name is Alicia Crawl. I am um, the Director of Community um, for the Carpentries. I also am the um, lead for the Community Development Team. I live in um, Fort Collins, Colorado. So with that, I am going to pass it to Bryn, who is next on my screen. Hello, I'm Bryn Elliott. I'm the new accessibility manager with the Carpentries. I've been on board for about three months and very excited to be here. Um, I hope that you all are taking advantage of the captions throughout the conference. Um, we're very excited and proud to be able to um, provide more accessibility options for everyone. Um, and I am located in Wyoming in the United States and I will pass it off to Carrie. Hi everyone, I'm Carrie Jordan, the Executive Director for the Carpentries, and I live in Central Florida in the United States. I'll pass it off to Erin. Hi everyone, my name is Erin Becker. I am the Associate Director with the Carpentries, and I live near San Francisco, California, on the west coast of the U.S., and I will pass it to Kelly. Hi hey everyone, my name is Kelly Barnes and I'm the Deputy Director of Instructor Training here at the Carpentries and I'm in London, Ontario, Canada. And I will pass it to Toby. Hi everybody, I'm uh, Toby Hodges. I'm the Director of Curriculum with the Carpentries. Uh, I'm calling from Heidelberg in Southern Germany um, and I'll pass it to Danielle. Hi, I'm Danielle CA. I'm the workshop administrator for the Carpentries, and I am in Columbus, Ohio in the US. And I will pass it off to Omar. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Omar Khan. I'm the communications manager of the Carpentries, and I'm located in New York City in the US. And I'll pass it to Talisha. Hi everyone, my name is Talisha Sutton Kennedy. I am the operations manager for the Carpentries. I support the uh, workshops, instructor training, memberships, and primarily business and finance. And I'm located in Michigan um, in the US. And I will pass it off to Karen. Hi, I'm Karen Ward. Um, I am the director of instructor training for the Carpentries. I'm the team lead for the instructor training team. Um, I am located in Davis, California, also kind of close to San Francisco, but not super close to Aaron. Um, I will pass it off to Manisha. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Manisha Sane. I'm based in the United States in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm the quality assurance manager for the Carpentries. So I work with all of our teams, making sure that all of our technology and infrastructure systems are supporting all of their work. Oh, and um, I'm just supposed to pass it on. Is there anyone else on the core team who's here? That we can get? Sharon, Michael. Uh, Cher, okay. Um, I'll pass it to Cher. Hey, 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 everyone. I am Cher. I am the director of workshops. I'm with the Carpentries. I am located in Detroit, Michigan, and I will pass it off to Michael. 
Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Kalshaw Maurer. I'm a postdoctoral researcher joint with the Carpentries and Cybers at the University of Arizona. This is Edie Frank. This is her first, uh, her first day back at work after being born seven weeks ago. Um, yeah, I am coming to you from Houston, Texas in the United States, where it is extremely hot and humid, which means very early morning walks. Oh, welcome, Michael. Welcome, everyone. And yes, it is so nice to see your um, little one for the first time. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, so we are now going to turn things over to Carrie um, Jordan, our executive director, who's going to present a little information about the state of the organization. Um, as I mentioned before, as she is presenting, if you have any questions um, for uh, Carrie or anyone on the core team, um, feel free to add those to the Etherpad, and we'll take time um, after the presentation um, to answer any questions that anyone has. So I'll turn it over to you, Carrie. Thank you, Alicia, and welcome everyone to CarpentryCon. I was fighting back so many tears um, last night and this morning during the, the opening sessions and the several keynotes, just seeing the closed captioning, um, the sign language interpreters, the fact that we had a keynote in Spanish. I'm fighting my tears right now because this is such a dream come true. So thank you all so much for being a part of this wonderful community. It means so much to me. Um, so I only have 10 minutes. I've used 30 of them to cry. <laughs> so let me get started. <laughs> ah, the way the carpentry sustains itself is through people. We create opportunities for individuals to contribute and we try to provide growth opportunities for you all, whether it's through teaching, through community building, through developing lessons. And we share a lot of our progress on our blog um, about the way the core team supports you all, about the way that you support each other um, in the various sub-communities and task forces. So what I've done is taken some of the highlights from each community segment and each team to share how we've engaged over the past year and beyond. And then afterwards, I would love for us to have a dialogue about where we are and where we're headed. So here we go. We'll start with our business and executive team. Checking the timer. Okay, so our executive team proactively brings together the perspectives from all of our individual programmatic teams and they establish community segments as well. And our business team works to ensure that the legal and financial aspects of our project coordinates well with our fiscal sponsor community initiatives. In this way, we are dedicated to providing transparency about the way the Carpentries operates as a business and ensuring that each community member can engage no matter how, where you live, who you are, how you identify. That speaks to our values of inclusive of all and act openly. We've incorporated our experiences with international hiring and contracting into our workflows and have now developed a process for determining the feasibility of hiring in all over the world <laughs> in new countries. Um, we've pursued grant opportunities and explored ways to manage and diversify our revenue streams. I'm thrilled to share that we've hired a director of fundraising. Her name is Amanda Steele, and she'll be instrumental in building our fundraising strategy. Lastly, we're excited to have registered the Carpentry's brand name and logo so that we can remain strong in terms of our marketing and branding. I wanna say thank you so much to both our executive team and our business team and anyone in the community who has helped improve the way we operate as a business and as a community. Now, I'm extremely proud of the work we've done to support the community in line with our values of strength through diversity and community collaboration. Alicia Crawl joined the Carpentries a little over a year ago as Director of Community, and we also broadened Angelique Trussler's role as African Capacity Development Manager. 
And one of our biggest accomplishments, our biggest green stickies, was the Carpentry's first virtual Carpentry Connect in South Africa. Additionally, you just met Bryn Elliott, our accessibility manager, and she was hired to better integrate accessibility across the programs and services that we offer as an organization. In her work to build and sustain carpentry subcommunities, Alicia conducted several interviews and collected data from many of our community segments and developed recommendations to guide the development of our community development program. What's to come includes clear pathways for diverse community subtypes, resources for each stage of subcommunity development, a glossary of terms to help us understand how our community roles align and intersect among others. If you've participated in one of our community welcome sessions, I want you to tell us in the chat, let us know. CarpentryCon 2022 is the biggest green sticky of all. Our biennial community meeting is the perfect place to re-engage, to meet other community members, and to reignite your passion for the Carpentries. So I want to thank you so much for being here, and thank you to everyone on our community development team. Every day I learn something new about our curriculum, our maintainers, our lesson developers, our contributors, and our advisors. You all embody our values, value all contribution, and always learning. There isn't enough room on this slide to share all of the work that's been accomplished in our curriculum program. We're so proud to have reactivated our curriculum advisory committees. These advisors are a key component in ensuring the Carpentries curricula are up to date and effective. It's been wonderful to see the number and caliber of lessons in our incubator and the path forward for that program includes ensuring our community members receive credits for creating high quality open source lessons. We learned, I'm saying we, but I really mean Toby when I say that. <laughs> we learned so much piloting our, our uh, collaborative lesson development training now moving towards its beta phase, and we look forward to building out that program similar to instructor training. And lastly, our lesson infrastructure is more accessible than it's ever been. And we look forward to releasing the beta phase of the Carpentries Workbench in the coming months with improved documentation to ensure that lesson maintainers have the easiest time managing their lesson repositories. Thank you so much to everyone who sits on and interacts with our curriculum team. So I put the infrastructure and membership team on one slide because I believe their work is truly the backbone of our organization as a, as a company. And so without accessible infrastructure to contribute, and both the revenue and advocacy that we receive from Carpentry's member organizations, we would have a difficult time acting out our values access for all. In January, we released a new pricing structure with increased flexibility for our membership offerings, allowing members to create service packages that will serve their needs. We also introduced geographically tiered pricing, which will enable us to better serve organizations outside of high income countries. We started a financial support program to offer support for organizations who are unable to pay our standard fees, inclusive, irrespective of the location where the host institution lies. We also updated our privacy policy following a more standard structure that explains your rights and how to exercise them under the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation and the California Customer Privacy Act. It also includes the legal basis we use to process your personal information, all in an effort to keep your information safe. And lastly, we've automated so many workflows in membership and in instructor training, workshops, all in an effort to improve how information is communicated, when information is communicated, and to give instructors and the overall community an easier time interacting with the carpentry, signing up for workshops, et cetera. I wanna say thank you so much to our infrastructure and membership, membership team for all you do. I 
I don't know if you know this, but I'm a trainer. <laughs> and I love being a trainer because it gives me room to embody one of my favorite carpentry's values, empower one another. We help people build knowledge by creating a conducive environment for the exchange of skills, perspectives, and experiences that empower people to enable them to reach their full potential. Our instructor training team and our trainers and trainers leadership group have worked tirelessly to improve our curriculum, our governance, and to make it easier to stay involved as a trainer or to transition to alumni status. Through the generous support of the Sloan Foundation, we're providing 150 instructor training seats to increase representation for underrepresented scholars in the United States. And we want to thank the Carpentries Instructor Pool so much because you are inviting people to instructor training. You're telling people about the Carpentries and you're the reason why we have such a diverse community. We've also welcomed a host of new trainers and we're proud to say that this is the largest and most globally linguistic diverse cohort of trainers that we've had to date. Thank you so much to the instructor training team. This is my last slide and I'm 30 seconds over. At the Carpentries, we put people first. This has been our approach to supporting workshops, especially since the world is still heavily impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. We've been intentional in our approach to supporting centrally organized workshops, reducing the number of workshops we offer per week to ensure our instructors have time to prepare and time to rest in between teaching. Our team has put together a fantastic instructional team. We're proud to have made online workshops permanent, but we're also thrilled to announce that we're piloting in-person workshops at several locations. The Instructor Development Committee is now supported by the workshop administration team as well, and they're discussing ways to engage instructors, including, including developing an official Carpentries instructor onboarding. And lastly, in our effort to bring more workshops to people of color, we're proud to have partnered with several organizations, including the National Society of Black Engineers, to offer Carpentries workshops, both virtually and at their regional and annual meetings. Thank you so much to everyone on the workshop admin team. So hopefully this has been uh, helpful to see what we've done in line with our values over the year. I'll stop sharing my screen now and pass it over to Alicia for our discussion period. Thank you all so much. Thanks so much, Carrie. Um, I pasted this into the um, uh, Zoom chat, but I am going to stop the recording now.